car. I know you don't mind, but I'm going to um, I'm going to tell you some tales about the uh, seven deadly sins. And um, well, well, if you if you do mind, I I, I have to. <clears throat> Number one, greed. Three-week-old Samuel loved his mum's tits. <laughs> Obviously, he could never dine on both simultaneously, so often when gorging on one with his soft, supple lips, he'd cup the other, priming the nipple. <clears throat> Number two, Gluttony. Weaning her son off breastfeeding was arduous, but Kathleen succeeded. Unfortunately, eight-year-old Samuel struggled with the transition and coped by secretly suckling sacks of clotted cream in bed. Number three, lust. Having been put on a diet, Samuel focused his energy on his blossoming stamp collection. More often than not, he'd just sit and look at the old ones, new ones, and Christmas novelty ones that lay in his book. His favourite had drawings of Piglet and Winnie the Pooh. No way! He also loved the Royal Dull Range, and one with Doctor Who. Ugh. There were just too many from which to choose. All he knew was there was not one he wished to lose. One night, Samuel's mother saw him kissing the stamp on every page. She thought he cutely found love at such a young age. The next night, she caught him rubbing his willy on a Harry Potter stamp. She grabbed the book, set it on fire, and sent him off to boot camp. Number four, envy. Boot camp was tough for Samuel, and bad behaviour lengthened his stay. For four years, he watched the buxom cleaner beat his dorm mate Milky Bar Buttons as he cried, reading letters from Kathleen about her new lover, Donald. Number five, Sloth. Between the ages of 16 and 24, Samuel barely did anything. And the things that he did do, like combing his mother's hair or shitting in Donald's car. He did it at a slow, sluggish pace. Number six, wrath. As the crowd hooped and hollered at the sound of Kathleen's emphatic yes to the kneeling Donald, Samuel punched his 25th birthday cake the milk chocolate comforting his knuckles. Oh, uh, sorry, um, uh, 20 minutes later, Samuel slipped Donald's throat. Number seven, pride. The image of Samuel being sentenced to life in prison was one his mother wouldn't soon forget. As her little boy, her past, a thief of her future, stood alone in the dock, a smile upon his soft, supple lips. Kathleen rearranged her uncomfortable bra strap and tweeted how handsome her son looked. <laughs>